welcome on the channel I will try to compare two different let's say systems or approach to measure the, the current one is a Victron energy monitor is a stand with standard shunt and of course this BMS with power sensor as you know it's a difference big or small exists difference exists right now we have current consumption we have 32 watts of course it's a some amperes I switch for amperage yeah it's 2.4 ampere and what is on our beautiful house sensor zero power consumption is zero watt so all calculation is will be wrong let's check it what's happened if I let's say switch on the inverter is on the idle but of course it's it's something what we have on this half sensor 1.3.7 and we have 4.3 so it's a significant difference let's say i switch on something more let's say fridge oh, oh fridge is cold so <laughs> it don't want to work what i can switch on more oh vent let's say Let's say come on. Okay, we have rent, we have four four fifty seven, and here we have three point eight. Not good sometimes, but this is right. I, make this test few times and sometimes the differences are even bigger uh, I don't know how come and why because I did not touch the uh, anything in the system mechanically it means I don't moving the sensor house sensor or something like uh, like that but is difference even bigger so let's make kind of experiment on this we have it shows so it's a 301.1 ampere hours of capacity and on Victron we have minus 52 state of charge so let's check it how big difference will be easy to calculate but let's say do it in in our eyes how it will work so i left of course fridge on for let's say 20 hours 24 hours and we check how big difference will be on both no difference would be on one it will be in between not on both okay and how big difference will be Okay, next day, let's say maybe not 24 hours, but let's say closer to 21. So capacity is 305, and on the Victron 
the difference is quite significant. In case when we operate with like a constant big current, it's not a problem, this is comparable, but if we operate like it was only fridge through through this 21 hours, maybe some lights, some control lights, some relays, but nothing nothing big. The difference is huge, to tell the truth. I expect such a results because of the Hull sensor, but I, I not expect, so not want to read. So even 3, 4 amps is a problem. Sometimes the difference is bigger, sometimes it's smaller and it's also disappoint me. Probably you can found better battery monitor based, uh, based on uh, Hull sensor but the difference will be always the difference will be always noticeable something like that so if so to tell you i have two because here i also have monitoring of of cell voltage on on battery but it shows so we need battery monitor based on shunt of course of course is few things different means victron have only one advantage he has like a relay to switch on or switch off something in case of battery goes too low or something like that similar monitors haven't and for this reason i bought victron to tell the truth i bought it cheaper on ebay as a this is a bit older older version no bluetooth anything like that so if everybody have a different vision it's good but or i don't know have a idea how to improve this battery monitor has sensor just leave the info in comments thank you for watching and see you in next video